What's up guys, 2333 here, and today we're going to be doing Mircom FA1000 System Test 2. So for this test, I am joined by the following people. Team Master 125 and April Star 68. Yep, we got those two motherfuckers here, and it's going to be a grand old mediocre time. So, FA1000 looks pretty similar, except the door's not on it. The uh, little peg that goes here broke off, so now we're doorless until I can fix that. And I can't find the battery cables, so we're just rocking with one trouble here. So, yeah, well, let's get right into it. Uh, we have, for pull stations, we have two Honeywell FM950Ks. These are two-stage, and I'll explain that more in a minute. Um, these are zones 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then zone 5 is just a system sensor I3! C2WBA. And for the notification appliance, we have a system sensor Spectral Alert Classic P1224 MCA, horn strobe, multi candela. And the coating is not what you'd expect. I mentioned how these two poles are two stage. That's because these panels can actually do two stage. So I've got this set on uh, two stage, so it does uh, 20 beats per minute in first stage, and second stage is just typical code three. Uh, in case you're wondering, these panels program through these eight dip switches, and you use a combination of these to enter a menu, and then you can program zones by flipping these up, and it, I'll make a video on it someday. But yeah, these are great panels. I absolutely love this thing. But obviously it's not addressable, so it's not going on my main board. Uh, Alright, well, so how this is going to work is the pulse stations will set off the first stage signal, which is 20 beats on there. And then if I hit the key switch on either one of these, it will set off a general alarm. Uh, hitting two pulse stations won't make a difference. It'll stay in first stage. And then the smoke detector just sends it straight into second stage, even if there's no alarms present. All right, let's start with this one. Here we go. Forgot to mention, the strobe doesn't like 20 beats, so it's not going to be flashing for first stage. All right, now let me find my keys. Yes, I have a new lanyard. What key do I want to use? Let's see if this simplex one will work. Let's try it. Should send it straight into... Oh, nope, doesn't want to work. All right, we'll use the Edwards. There we go. Strobe's going. We're in code three, second stage. And now we'll just do these devices. And now this will put it right back in the second stage because it was already in second. And I know that sounds terrible. This uh, panel outputs FWR, so. All right, let's put this one. Eh, I'll hit the key on this one. Why not? Then I'll do the smoke, and then I'll demonstrate uh, how to manually evac. So, here we go. And I'll start resetting these poles. These aren't too bad to reset. What do you think of them, Grimshaw? What do you think of these resetting? Alright. It works well. Ahem. What do we say to that? They're not bad. Not bad. There we go. Stop fucking me! There we go. They're reset. So we'll do a system reset here, and then I'll just, uh, I'll smoke out the smoke. 
Because why not? Here we go. Should go here. There it goes. As you can see, that's set up to go straight into second stage. So I'm going to take this, blow it. System reset. And now I'm going to demonstrate how you can manually evacuate the building. So I'll send an alarm in. As you can see, it's in first stage. Now let's say someone pulls it and it turns out to be a real fire um, and you need to evacuate the building. You can either hit a key switch, wait five minutes, or you, on this panel you can hit the uh, general alarm button right here. As you can see, fires it straight into second stage. All right, now let's reset this, and I have one more thing I want to demonstrate. Also forgot to say, um, do not tamper with fire alarms in buildings or pull them unless there's a real emergency. I'm not responsible for your actions. Reset. Also, for anybody wondering, all Muricom panels, zones, knacks, Everything, take 3.9K resistors. And now I'll finally demonstrate the general alarm that you can just use right on the panel to evacuate the building. As you can see, that straight up evacuated the building without any question. So yeah, I think that just about covers it. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.